Let's go to the women's finals, but first let's check out the men's singles standings and major change on this board. Coming to the tournament, Liu Guliang of China was number 10. However, he has gone on to win just moments ago the men's singles final and has vaulted all the way up to number 3 in the men's singles rankings. On the ladies' side, the story, Wang Nan of China, number 1 and a very solid lead. However, she skipped this tournament. And so these two young ladies have a golden opportunity to pick up some ground in the women's single standings. In the near court in blue, Korea's Lee Kyung Sung. The far court in black from China, Yu Young Feng. Interestingly enough, Anders, Yu Young Feng not even ranked. One of the newcomers to the pro circuit tour and uh, Lee Kyung Sung, number 32 in the rankings. It's the first time I ever see the Chinese girl. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how she's played. What you can be guaranteed of is that he, she's raised and born in the Chinese school, which means excellent technique and, and well understanding of the game. I was going to say, when you get to this level, even if you're a young, youngster from China, it's pretty much a guarantee that if you come to this level that you are fully prepared. And she's proved herself already by making the Yugoslavian final. Yeah, oh yeah, and, and the Chinese will not let her uh, compete on this level unless they know that she is competitive. So, for sure she is competitive. Nice little overhead view of what's going on here in Belgrade. Nice view of Mew going into the net and trailing to the one. Bit of a unique service move there, as you can see. It's not very often you see a move like that in terms of the service. And once again, that's a bit of typical Chinese. They, they experiment and they develop the game as much as they can. But this is a pretty dramatic change in the service. It's a bit of a unique serve, yeah, that's correct, and it's, it's interesting to see. And she's up to flying start here, 3 2. The Korean, though, is the traditional Asian pen holder style, and it's going to be in interesting to see the contrast of the two. Because the Korean girl will play, like you see here, very, very quick and use her four and as much as possible. In the past in our coverage, we've seen defender playing against defender, but that's not the issue here today. No. We've got two aggressive players. This is going to be quick rallies, and, and uh, they will try to get superior uh, close to the table. basically just missed that one and launched it into the crowd. She still leads, though, 5-3. You can really early see here how the Chinese will play this match. She will try to play her balls wide in both corners, so she gets the, the Korean girl, if possible, on the run. Here. And, uh, that's going to be the tactic from, from the Chinese girl's point of view. For the Koreans, I think she will try to be very aggressive after service and receive trying to go for that forehand smash as quick as possible to, to disturb uh, uh, news uh, rhythm. Long. 6-4. Now we shall see if she's going for that serve again or if she has some uh, alternative for, for, for that uh, quite special service. Having a hard time getting used to that service, but I mean, it's working for her. Yeah, and she's uh, also surprising her opponent, I think. Uh, big opening immediately here. You see a high receive, and, and she has no uh, nothing to respond to that service at the moment. She has to look very carefully how, how she's tracking the ball. What kind of action are we seeing on the ball and that kind of a spin? I'm trying to figure out if you're going to get a top spin or, or back spin, but it's almost more of a side spin, isn't it? It's side spin in, in both ways, but I think uh, side spin under spin or side spin top spin. So she has to look very carefully if she hits it with the with the black side of the of the bat or with the red red side of the bat. So it's it's like you're saying you have to, to look very very carefully how she's moving and how she finally decides how to hit the the sub. That was a good receive from the Koreans. Low and, and forced mistake from, from the shining sun. You just see how New gets very, very low to the surface of the table. Yeah. 
Good reaction by New. Very good rally, and uh, you will see the, the, the Lee will, from Korea will play exactly like this, and she should play like this, even if she's losing this ball. She's playing aggressively, she's playing quick, which means that New have to take a step back, and that's the way Lee has to proceed during the entire match. She has to play quick on the ball. The answer is... Interesting, you know, Lee's style of play, she's playing everything tight to the body. Instead of moving her body, she's playing everything tight to the body, and that can, looks like it's jamming her up. Do you not find that interesting, Anders, that she's not moving away from the ball and giving herself an open, a more yeah, open that's, shot? Yeah, that's very much a pen holder. When they're trying to stay close to the table, they move only one or two steps and trying to cover the, the, the table that way, while uh, an offensive uh, handshake play normally moves the... the feet in a different way but it's like you're saying she's trying to move her body and she's trying to get the ball around that eight ten the score you young feng china leading lee kyung sung of korea in the women's final the 1997 the 32nd $50,000 Yugoslavia A rich tradition of table tennis here in Yugoslavia. A rich tradition or a very long tradition of racing very good players like Surbek Stepanchic in the past and, and really a, a, a high level of, of, of knowledge inside the Yugoslav table tennis, which also have produced a lot of coaches around the world, which really knows the game. And here you have two powerhouse meeting as well, Korea and China, which has a lot of experience. And especially on the women's side now, they're dominating the, the scene. Incredible depth. Just an incredible depth. Go to their coaching. Knew it allowed the game to get tied, and so she's very happy to get back on top. She leads 11-10 here in set number one, the best of five Yugoslavian championship. Very interesting to also notice during the coverage we had here for this year's Pro Tour is that the Chinese women very often play with handshake grip, which is the European style of playing. And I, I guess they have discovered that that's the best way to do it. While the Korean girls here still having a lot of penhole players, which keeps the, the old tradition alive in, in Korea. And she also playing with the pimples out, which means that there is a lot of speed in the ball, like there. It's quick and it's very effective. Lee with her first lead of the match, up 12-11. Lee goes into the net, make it 13-11. And Lee is doing the right thing here. She's aggressive immediately on the service, which is the first time she was able to go around and play her four and attack immediately on the service. And I think she's maybe now getting used to the, the service stroke. Like it's new to us, it's probably also new to her. The question is, and this is, you see her experience, is how she adjusts these new service. Yeah, now, at this point, let's face it, she's adjusted quite well. Yeah, now she has a real good chance to wrap this set up if she's successful in his own service here. 14 11 and own service. Yeah. Oh, 15 11. Lee from Korea is playing very good now. She's playing exactly like she should, should, playing aggressive and coming with this forearm smash, which ultimately makes the mistake on you. Into the net, 16-11, and she is on a run now. Lee Kyung Sung trailing all the match, finally tied it up, and now she's bursting ahead on her own service. The first point she lost in a little while, so New trying to snap that string and get back into the set. Yeah, and New is actually a little bit lucky because it's net in and could e easily be in the Korean's point again. Could have gone either way. He was going for the smash, and I think it was the right decision, just wide. 
Nice picture here in slow motion. And that is just right. Now comes a very important point. If you can get this one in 17, 13, you never know. And into the net, 16, 14. So suddenly, New gets service back and she only trails by two points. Yeah, it's wide open this first set. And I think we have seen some quite interesting table tennis and some good quick rallies, which I think uh, the women table tennis is, is um, displaying very well. If you've just joined us, Gino Red along with Anders Sundstrom with coverage of the Women's Championship Final in Belgrade, Yugoslavia. Korea's Lee Kyung Sung facing China's Niu Young Feng, set number one. And it's been very, very even thus far. That's a bad mistake on service from the Chinese girl. See if she can recover that. Fifteen seventeen, opening set. Into the net, sixteen seventeen. It'll be interesting to see if Lee from Korea can continue being aggressive even if she was missing that point. If you miss point, suddenly you can hesitate, but I think that's not the game Lee at all. She has to go for it all the way if she wants to, to wrap this set up. New into the net. 16-18. Looks almost like the two uh, finalists here is a bit nervous. Two easy mistakes, one apart. We're in the opening set. Sometimes, I guess, Anders, people try to feel each other out in the first set, get a sense for it, because we play five. We play the best of five. But you're right, though. They're both making some, uh, some mistakes. There you can see how the Chinese girl, for the first time, using her back end with full power, which immediately makes her one point. Just got caught going the wrong way. Now we've got a one-point game. Well, Lee was very successful on her last set of service. She gets the ball back now, leading by a point. Leading by two points, 19-17. She's got to close the deal here. You see the service drop, a lot of underspin on that service, and the new uh, puts the ball in that. Wide, and she goes to set point. That's the way she should play, you know, because she was playing with full force in the four and smash, middle of the table. No chance for the Chinese girl. Lee Kyung Sung, one point away from taking a one set to love lead in the 1997 Yugoslavia Open. And there it is. Lee Kyung Sung of Korea takes set number one over China's Niu Young Feng 21 17. We play the best of five here in the Yugoslavia Open. We'll be back with new coverage of the women's final in a moment. Yugoslavia Table Tennis Open. Set number one went to Korea's Lee Kyung Sung, 21-17. We're now in set number two. For those of you who just joined us, you know, right along with Anders Thunstrom. New Young Feng of China is in the black jersey. Lee Kyung Sung of Korea in the blue. New leading lead, 7-6 here in the second set. Kind of still using the table, excellent. The riding corner, if you can see the angle, she was playing all the way down the forehand and then immediately down to the backhand side of Lee. And that's the way she has to make points because traditionally pen holders, very weak in backhand. Oh, almost reaching it. She got caught kind of flat footed there. Instead of making the move, she tried to reach for it and just couldn't get to it. And that's what we discussed in the first and opening set, that the, the pen holders doesn't move all the way. They're taking one or two steps, and that was beyond her reach because she couldn't move in third step. And the strategy right now for New Young Fang is to try to make a move, and if she's not willing to move, she's going to miss them. 
Now here's that serve again. If you just joined us, you're in for a bit of a treat here with this rather unique style of service by Mew, and it's been rather effective setting Lee Kyung Sung back on her heels. The all new overheads, overhand serve in uh, table tennis. That's right. Yeah, I think Mew has to use, like I said before, play uh, the balls in, in various directions. When pen holders can play for an attack from their back and corner, that's their best shot. So she has to sometimes use to play balls wide in the corner, for and corner, to really get Lee boarding that attacking style she's playing now, where she's playing for an attack from her back and corner. That's the best position for a pen holder player. She is, don't do any mistakes. Huh? New leading, 10-8, second set. Trailing off, second set. 11-8. That was a nice shot. You can look at this forehand topspin. She is playing it straight, which is very effective in table tennis. Straight balls and balls close to the stomach. It's very, very effective. Well then. I think the producer also is very interested in the service mode because he's giving it a shot all the time and it, it's really interesting to see how she's developing that so What will be really interesting to see is if she has a lot of success and it's so far it's been successful today, whether or not it catches on with the younger players, because we know the older players are not going to make the shift, at least that's highly unlikely, but we'll see if the younger up-and-comers try to experiment with that service. Yeah, and especially if she's become really, really successful with the service, she will be the role model to take after and, and trying to perhaps cope or develop into something uh, even better. I've got a feeling coaches around the world right now are rolling tape on this match. I would guess to take too. a closer look at exactly that type of style of service. <laughs> Lee Kyung Sung took the first set 21-17. She seemed to have all kinds of trouble with new service early in the set, but then turned it around the second half of the set and won it. Nice defense for the Chinese girl Yu, who really take a few blocks and then going for the backhand power down far in the team backhand for Lee. No chance for Lee. Thirteen ten. Young Young Peng Peng leading. Leading. Very good rally, and the shine is now really moving Lee exactly like she sh should do, and, and uh, we'll see here if, if the, the pattern in the match will change now, because she's using the table very, very good now. This is stop number 11 of 14 stops on the pro table tennis circuit this year. Finishing up, of course, with the grand final in Hong Kong with well over $200,000 U.S. on the line in that event. If you'd like to follow along with statistical information, some results, find out the rankings, no problem. You can contact us on the World Wide Web at www.ittf.com. Results, scores, updates, rankings, everything you want to know as we build towards the final in Hong Kong, all on our home site. The reaction, the reaction by Liu Young Feng there is uh, classic. She was just completely flustered by that point. Had no idea where it was going. Yeah, and Lee is still playing her aggressive style, which I think she's doing. The, the, it's the right way to do. So she, Lee knew has to, to, I think, change her service a bit better in in direction and in, in there. She was playing actually a different kind of service, and that's the way she had to do. It. Don't play the service on the same spot all the time. Because Lee is too clever to, to find that. Out. In fairness to her opponents, New is tough to really read because she is new on the circuit. They haven't seen her service, they haven't seen her style. They're just trying to adjust to it right now. She's trying to take advantage of that. 
she is completely unranked in the world right now because she really hasn't had that much international experience on the pro circuit. She's going to pick up a lot of very, very, very valuable points in this event to move up the rankings. Remember, only the top 16 men and top 16 women make their way to Hong Kong for the finals. First time for a long time she's making points directly on the service, which means that Lee have learned how to, to receive it, more or less. And it's like you're saying, Yu Yang Feng has to, when she's established, she has to learn to develop her own game as well. She can't trust that everything is new for the opening when they get used to her style. So that will be her challenge in the future. Well, because on this level, you can only go so far with a solid serve, with an unusual serve, and then you've got to depend on your game as well. Sure. 18-13, right now her game is intact and threatening to even this up at a set apiece. We go into the corners and it's working for her now. Oh yeah, that backhand smash was uh, a beauty. Very, very nice truck. And she took her from side to side, went she to did, one right? corner and then came back to the opposite corner. That's correct, you know, and that's the way she has to play this game. She has to move her from corners to corners. Lee Kyung Sung on service, trailing 13-19. 14-19. At least you can say Lee is consistent. She's going for the smash all the time. Once she has the opportunity, she will go for the smash. Wide. 14 20. Set point to China's new young Feng. An opportunity to even up this championship final at a set apiece. New into the net. 15 point. 2015 and own service, I think uh, 99 times out of the 100, it should be the case that Niao Niu is taking this set. A chance to put it away, and she does. Yes. Niu Young Fang of China comes back to win set number two over Korea's Lee Kyung Sung 21 15, and a crucial victory for her because she had lost the first set 21 17. Back with continuing action of the women's final in a moment. And Yugoslavian Open. What a final way that's been. We are now in the fifth and final set. Korea's Lee Kyung Sung in the blue singlet won the first set. She lost the next two to China's New Young Feng. Then came back to win the fourth set and force a fifth and deciding set in this women's final. We're all tied up at two sets. We're tied up 2 2 in the deciding set. Gina right along with Anders Dunstrom. And Anders, this has been a seesaw battle back and forth. It could be much more even than these two women are. No, and it can go either way, I think. It's a wide open story, and, uh, and I think to get with the best nerves and, and with the best, most guts will win this. And this is such a huge match for the women, not only for the money that's involved here in the Claudia, but also in the overall scheme of things, because both these ladies are well down the international rankings, trying to climb up the pro circuit rankings, and possibly, just possibly, with three stops left, earn a spot in Hong Kong by finishing in the top 16 in the world rankings. Yeah, and you can imagine a victory in an open championship like the Yugoslav Open is, is, uh, is very good on the belt. Looks good on the resume and looks good in the checkbook as well. Yes, it will definitely be that. It's been interesting to see uh, Lee Kyung Sung trying to react and respond to Yu Young Feng's service and how Yu now has tried to adjust and can't just count on the service alone, has to count on a strong rally. It's been quite the little battle between these two. Lee continues to going for the smash, and I think that's the right way to do. Now she was just wide this time, but uh, if she wants to make this her victory, I think she has to go for the points herself. And she needs a service, because she's got to turn over the service to you, and you've been so powerful when she's had serve. It's going to be interesting to see here now if... if uh, you will do something different, something new, to, to get the edge uh, while she's serving now. Because now it comes to very crucial moments in the match where 
she can maybe take a, a advantage of her service and, and, and gain some points. Lee is taking the first point in New South. And that's what she's got to do. She sends a message. Not only is it a huge moral victory, but she sends a message to her opponent. Like, I'm not intimidated by your service anymore. Lee leads 6-5 on new serve. Lee was going for an idea there. Took away from her aggressive game for a second. Tried to soft touch it, but it just didn't work out for her. That's right. And New was actually counterattacking with a flip straight, which surprised Lee and, and was giving the Chinese girl a point. Very good play by New. It's quite the psychological warfare going on between these two right now. Long point new. Seven six. New young fact, the fifth and deciding set. The slider open. Eight six. Looks like Lee was a little bit stiff, didn't move uh, correctly on that ball, and, and uh, she hesitated almost when she was trying to do the block. And that long. And as we have seen during the entire match, Lee refused to take a step back. She's close to the table all the time. And there she's using her backhand block, which is a very difficult stroke for a pen holder. To a very good defense. Lee Kyung Sung of Korea on serve, trailing by a point. <laughs> New is actually playing with the edge of a racket, that's why the ball is going so wide. And this is the ball. It's interesting to see news reaction because she's starting to display some emotion. You may be saying, well, that's not a lot of emotion, but in table tennis, that's right. Yeah. For the Asian players, that's that a was substantial emotion. amount of reaction. That was emotion, yeah, that's right. You can see from the overhead table uh, camera how, how different they were standing in terms of closeness to the table. Korean close to the table by the Chinese two steps behind. And now Lee is in control because she is the more aggressive one. Of course, those errors. Lee Kyung Sung leading 10 8. Dot Kat trying to be a little overly aggressive, but better to err on the side of aggression. Here you can see that the, the receiver was not to her, her backhand side, this time wide in forum, which means that Lee has to think about different ways of, of receives from the Chinese girl new which, of course, will create some trouble. Terrific rally. It's a great rally, which uh, knew it's almost there, but uh, Lee's aggressive leads pays off. You can see here how Lee, he's, she's playing three or four forehand smashes consecutive. Change of service. New young fan. Serving trailing by two, 9 11. 9 12. Look at this rally. You can see that Lee is confident because she's playing all the rally almost with her backhand block and letting New doing the fi final mistake. It's amazing the difference in motion. New moving back and forth and back and forth. Lee barely stepping inches to either side. That's right. And now she was playing a forehand smash. And, and she, she is rolling now. Look at this forehand smash. Wide in forehand corner of New. No chance. New Young Feng really has to stem the tide right now. She's on service. This is the time that she's got to put some distance between herself and her opponent. But instead, she's falling behind. Having said that, she takes the point and trails now 10-13. You never have said that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I think now two service, very important. She's trailing 10-13. Maybe she needs both. I agree that she's got to have both these serves because Lee is on her game right now. And she doesn't get it. 
looked like almost an easy mistake. It was, uh, as you call it, an unforced error anyway. She had a chance to make a top spin, but she placed it in the net. Lee in the net. 11-14. Now comes an interesting service game for Lee because now she can almost uh, go in front real, real big here. And the net, first blown opportunity, 14-12. seen much of these mistakes from Leaf before. Look at this service, very good service. The receive is high. She's going for the smash, but it's wide. I think maybe a bit stiff, and that makes it. Now it's going to be very interesting to see what she does with the service. Is she going for the same service? Yes, she does. She's shaking her head. She just can't believe she made that error. We're all tied up again. Two consecutive points where she has the chance to, to go for the smash and doing the point. She misses both. And we're dead even. So, tied at two sets apiece. We're tied at 14 all in the fifth and deciding set here in the 1997 women's final of the Yugoslavia Open. <laughs> Net. Big point for Lee to get back on top. 15-14. You have to give her credit because she's going for the smash again, even if she missed the last two ones. And this time it pays off. Look in the net, 15-15. Talk about the seesaw battle, and that's exactly what's happening. It's going back and forth. Yeah, and now they have to make up their mind. Who is going to win this? These are bad. There was a lot of topspin on that ball. That's the reason why it's long from Lee when she blocks. She blocks out. Lee looked almost bewildered by that. She just couldn't believe she missed it. Yeah, there was a lot of spin on that ball from uh, the Chinese team. On service now. This is a huge opportunity for you, and she's taking advantage. 17-15. When you get to this level, you've got to take advantage of the opportunities, and she is in great shape on service right now. Look what clever she's playing with the backhand. Straight down the line. Wide in Lee's four and four, and no chance for Lee to return that ball. Lee Kyung Sung is facing an uphill battle now. Long. That was a very, very big point. And I think it shows also what we said in the beginning of the set. Easy errors, which I think young girls, which has the chance to go for the title, a bit nervous, a bit stiff, and then forces that kind of, of mistakes. We haven't seen that kind of mistakes before. Point new. No hesitation there. Not at all. New Young Feng now takes command at 18 to 16 lead over Korea's Lee Young Sung. Fifth and deciding set, the championship on the line. Two youngsters playing in this final. A lot of cash and a lot of points in the overall post circuit rankings. Long, huge point. New Young Feng now leads 19-16. Just long. Yeah, you can see she was going for the, the tough smash direct long service. Risky play. I think maybe the right decision anyway, but she, she was mistaken. 
Now she has to battle back here immediately. Leon service. That worked for her. It's very, very brave of her to be going for that four and flip. It's not an easy uh, stroke to do. And look at this. Nice done. Very far away in, in four and corner. No chance to new. 17 19. You a little tense. She can see the victory so close, just two points away. But Lee would like to snatch it away from her. We are seeing some great table tennis in this final. And it's amazing. She's going for the point again with her foreign smash. No, no hesitation whatsoever. And that pays off. Now comes the huge, huge point. Biggest of the match, perhaps. Maybe the chance to tie it up. But she does not. Instead, New Young Feng comes to within one point of the 1997 title here in Yugoslavia. Championship point. New Young Feng of China. Lee Kyung Sung of Korea desperately trying to hang on. Fifth and deciding set. It has been an incredible women's final. Lee Kyung Sung. On surface, trying to stay alive. But she will not, and it is over. It is over. It took five sets. It was dramatic. It went back and forth, but in the end, New Young Feng of China defeats Lee Kyung Sung of Korea in a dramatic five set final. And with that, she vaults up the women's singles ranking. She came in completely unranked, but with the points she accumulates from today's match, goes all the way up to number 19 in the world rankings. And that is crucial because she needs to get into the top 16 to qualify for Hong Kong. And for Lee, it's not that bad either because she's moving up to 15th place, which guarantee her birth in the finals. A huge jump for both players because Lee Kyung Sung came in ranked number 32 in the world. And as you say, Anders, she is now number 15. And that wraps up our coverage of what has been a very dramatic women's final at the 1997 Yugoslavia Open. But a reminder, stay with us because our next stop is Linz, Austria for the 1997 Austria Open. Until then, for Anders Thunstrom and the crew, I'm Gino Retta saying so long.